this is when plastic tabs start getting broken when socket bolts start getting not put back in correctly when you get your bike back and parts might be scratched Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips and tricks, accessory installation review videos, and of course these incredibly insightful motovlogs. If you don't believe they're wonderful, just ask me, I'll tell you. But if you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing, or just motorcycles in general, you're in the right place so I'd appreciate it if you come back so click that little subscribe button down below and if you click on the little bell icon YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos and you're gonna want to see them because we got a bunch of good ones coming up my last uh, motor vlog and before I get into that let me tell you I'm leaving my uh, morning coffee at Einstein's bagels here in Plano which is pretty typical for my motor vlogs because it's just a good time of day for me. It's a beautiful day. It's a Tuesday morning. It's about 79 degrees. Just perfect riding weather, almost sun up. Obviously, we got a little traffic this morning. I'm having a hard time get, getting out of the parking lot. Usually, the traffic's not this bad. So, in my last motor vlog, I kind of went off on a rant, which I tend to do. And I went off on a rant on my uh, experience with Spectrum and Fios for my uh, home internet connectivity and service. And I will have to say, I do go off on these rants from time to time. And I'm just curious how you guys interpret that. Do you like those rants? Uh, whether you agree with it or not, you know, you may still enjoy listening to somebody else rant on about something. Let me know in the descriptions down below, and I may even put a little survey question or a poll up above if you want more of these rants. Because, man, I tell you, I can rant on a lot of different topics. There's a lot of things that I've observed that irritate the heck out of me. But do you like these kind of rants or do they trigger you? Do you get triggered by it? You know, we wouldn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or upset anyone. But if you'll let me know, then I will tailor my motor vlogs. I also want to take a second to remind you and mention my Goldwing uh, Maintenance Facebook page. Uh, I have my own Cruise Man's Garage Facebook page, but I also have a group, you might say, a Facebook group for Honda Goldwing maintenance. And it doesn't matter what year model Goldwing you ride, you're welcome to join that group and post and read information pertaining to maintenance issues on the Honda Goldwing. Now, I started this group initially primarily for those of you that own my DVDs and Goldwing maintenance videos, and it was kind of a place for you to congregate and share information or ask questions of me, kind of one location uh, where you can post those questions about the videos or about maintenance topics. But I've since expanded it. Anybody you know with a Goldwing that's interested in working on your own bike is welcome to join that group. Now, while we're on that topic, you know, working on your own motorcycle can be pretty therapeutic. And I watched a video last week by uh, Memphis Mike where he talks about how riding the motorcycle is good therapy. And, and it's true. It's a, great, a good video. Check out his channel and watch it. Um, but you know, I think the same thing is true of working on your motorcycle. 
Last week I had uh, my 2018 almost completely torn down because I'm making a bunch of new videos. And this is probably the fourth or fifth time I've had the bike, you know, not completely apart, but top shelter off, front end off. And I mentioned it last week and I'll mention it again. I was not only marveling at the engineering that goes into something like this motorcycle, which is really incredible, but working on the motorcycle, you also get this incredible sense of satisfaction once you've completed the task. And, you know, I think that's what people like about the maintenance videos that we've come out with is it, it gives them some assistance in getting that sense of satisfaction because it maybe helps guide them to that that finale of getting the bike all back together, getting it apart, getting it whatever needs to be maintained or fixed or repaired or replaced. And then when the bike's all back together, you really get this sense of satisfaction that you've accomplished something, that you did it on your own, and you didn't have to rely on someone else. And you also have the knowledge when you work on your own motorcycle and you put it back together that it's done correctly. You don't have to wonder, did the guy, did that 19 year old kid at the Honda dealer, did he really put all the screws and bolts back in that he was supposed to? Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you have worked on motorcycles that have been serviced by dealerships and you know, you can see where they've left out fasteners, they've left out the little push pin rivets they've left out socket bolts you know what I'm talking about and the good thing here's the good news about the Goldwing this is one great thing about this Goldwing it is so forgiving and this is true of the previous generation Goldwing as well the way this thing is engineered and designed and built it's so forgiving that if you do leave out a couple of uh, body clips or socket bolts the bike's not going to fall apart on you you know you'd have to really do something stupid to cause a problem like that the, uh, the main, maintaining a Honda Goldwing is really very forgiving so the purpose of my maintenance videos is to give you the confidence that you can do this yourself. You don't have to uh, rely on a service tech at a dealer that you don't know. You don't know what their qualifications are. And you can take control of that situation yourself. And I think that's really, if there's a secret sauce to the success of these maintenance videos, that's it. So now I have gotten all of the videos, uh, all of the footage, I should say, shot for the upcoming new videos I'll be releasing. And I've mentioned it before, I just want to make sure that you understand if you've already purchased your 2018 Goldwing maintenance videos, you will get these new videos added to your library automatically. There's no additional charge for that. And I'm kind of expecting these will be released sometime in October. I want to release them all as one set. I'm in the editing process right now. So I'm expecting to release these new videos in October. And they will just automatically show up in your library if you've already purchased the videos. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm also going to throw up another little poll on the screen. Uh, in one of the upper corners of your, I think it's in the right hand corner, you'll see it on the YouTube video. I'd like to know what bike you ride. Do you ride a 2018 Plus Goldwing? Do you ride the fifth generation Goldwing or F6B uh, or an even earlier model? 
and put it in the comments down below. I'd like to kind of get a feel for who's watching my videos and what kind of motorcycle, or maybe you don't even ride a Goldwing. Maybe you ride a Harley or you ride some other motorcycle. That's fine. Uh, but let me know. I'm curious if you put it in the comments down below. I'm really curious to know uh, the people that are viewing my videos, what kind of motorcycle you're riding. That would be a great help to me to know how to tailor my content in the future uh, for these motovlogs and for other videos. And I'm going to go, go into a series of videos on the various components and the various parts of this 2018 Plus Goldwing. Now that I've had more than a year and about 13,000 miles uh, riding this bike, I think now I have enough information where I can talk about the engine, the transmission, the brakes, uh, the handling, the ergonomics, and I'm just going to do a motor vlog, uh, a series where each motor vlog, I'll, I'll go into more depth on each one of these topics so that you'll have a very good uh, feeling if you do not already own a 2018 plus Goldwing, maybe you're considering it, uh, it might be a really good uh, series of videos for you to get more familiar with kind of a long-term assessment of these various components of the bike and how I feel they stack up uh, to either the previous Goldwing or any other motorcycle that I've ridden. I mentioned the uh, Goldwing Maintenance Facebook page. I should also mention how you get to that. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. So for those of you that are on Facebook and you use Facebook, uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can go to that Facebook group and uh, just join the group. The only thing I ask is that you answer all the questions. There'll be, a, I think, four questions that I'll ask you, like which Goldwing do you ride? Do you do your own maintenance? Things like that. So if you'll please just answer all those questions uh, before uh, or as you fill out your uh, request to join that group, I very I greatly appreciate it. I also mentioned the kind of the zen, I should say, of working on your own motorcycle and how therapeutic it is. Uh, but what I failed to mention, the, one of the greatest benefits of working on your own motorcycle is that you're saving money. When you go through my video on how to change your air filter, and you complete that task, just that one task alone will save you two to three hundred dollars in labor at a dealer. Now I had a, a one of my customers sent me a list the other day, and I wish I, I wish I'd written it down. I've got it. I've got the email, but he basically told me how much his dealer quoted him for all of these maintenance tasks. I think he listed four or five different things. One of them was the brake fluids. One of them was the uh, air filter. One of them was an oil change, which I think was $100. Uh, and it came out to about $600 just for these four maintenance items on his 2018 Plus Goldwing. And he sent me an email to thank me for the videos because he said, you know, I'll more than pay for the videos in the first six months just by doing these maintenance time. I don't know if it's six months. It might have been a year. But uh, basically what he was saying is if I do these four things myself, I'll save $600 in labor right there. And, uh, you know, for the cost of the videos, a couple hundred dollars, you know, you've tripled your money back. So he was thanking me for that. But my point in telling that story is that uh, what these dealers are charging, for example, $200 to change an air filter. Now, if a dealer is actually going to charge you $200 and they've got a service tech that does this on a regular basis, he can probably do it in a couple hours. My concern would be a dealership that doesn't work on a lot of gold wings and they've quoted you the Honda flat rate for labor. Now you've got a service tech that has to get the job done in two hours. So if he can do it in two hours, great, if he knows what he's doing. But what if he's a service tech that doesn't work on Goldwings on a regular basis? It could take him four hours. Some of you that have done this job, you know the first time you do it, it can take you three or four hours to get, just to get to where the air filter is. Now, if you did it every day, yeah, you could get it down to two hours. 
So now you've got a service tech, potentially this service tech, that is not that familiar with the Goldwing, and now he's in a hurry. He's got to get this thing done in two hours for what they quoted for labor. So this is when plastic tabs start getting broken, when socket bolts start getting not put back in correctly, when you get your bike back and parts might be scratched or broken or fasteners missing. This is how that happens. These service techs have so much time given to them to get these jobs completed and if they don't then they got an issue because the dealer will start losing money on it. If you do the job yourself you can take as much time as necessary to make sure it gets done right. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if you like my rants on other topics uh, or if you just want me to stick to talking about the motorcycle. I mean I can do that. I can just talk about the Goldwing. But Sometimes I tend to get off on a tangent and something irritates me that day or something I hear or read about in the news. Do you want more of that or do you want none of it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for joining today and just letting me spew my venom. Much appreciated. And that's, uh, I guess that's just about it. Until the next Cruise Man's Motovlog. Bye for now.